Hey everyone, welcome to Marketing on Your Horse with Mike Caldwell, the marketing medic. So today we're gonna start at the beginning of a business. The most important thing in a business, the most, there's nothing even close to second, is customers, all right? If you don't have customers, if you don't have clients, then you don't have a business, all right? So the first thing you need to do when starting a business or working on your business is get a very good understanding of who your client is. So we're going up the hill, all right? And once you have an understanding of who your client is, then you can better understand what their needs are, what their pain points are, and what solutions you can offer them, all right? One of the biggest mistakes so many businesses make is they love their product so much that they think it's perfect for everybody. And you know what? I'm not saying it's not perfect for everybody, but that's not the way you want to market it, okay? Just think if you're, uh, if you're a dude and you're going to get married and you find a one-size-fits-all tuxedo, all right? And you tell your fiance, honey, I found this awesome one-size-fits-all tuxedo. Anybody can wear it and it's only, you know, 50 bucks. Um, you know what? That's not going to go over so well. One size fits all usually means it doesn't fit anybody properly, right? So when you're marketing your business, you need to give some thought into that. Like, what? Okay, your product is good for everybody. Okay, let's assume that. But what demographics within that base can you break it down to? And how can you market to them separately and individually? Giving them their own separate messages. Well, we missed a trail. Diaz, Jesus. Okay, so now we're going off course. <laughs> That's the problem with marketing on your horse. Come on, girl, let's go. Come on, let's go. All right, so yeah, so identify like the different niches within your market, identify what their specific problems are, and then show them specifically how your product can provide them with the solutions that they need. All right, you gotta keep in mind that your, uh, your client, you don't wanna have to do the thinking for them, right? And so it's great. I think we should all know that you don't wanna focus on the features of the product, you wanna focus on the benefits. But at the same time, how do those benefits, um, again, specifically apply to your client's pain points? All right, so paint a story for them. Paint a story of the, of the pain that they're already experiencing and then show them how, with a click of a mouse, your product can, uh, can provide them with the solution that they're looking for. All right? So, just to recap, the most important thing in any business is the customer. And so you really need to understand who that customer is and what their pain points are and how you can match your product's um, your product's features to the solutions and the benefits that that client is looking for. All right? If you can do that, that's gonna set the tone for everything else that you do within your marketing, okay? That's gonna, that's gonna determine the images that you show. That's gonna, that's gonna determine the language that you use. That's gonna, you know, it's just gonna determine absolutely everything. Obviously, you're gonna, you're gonna talk to millennials using a different tone than you're gonna talk to, um, you know, baby boomers. All right, just as one example. All right, uh, I think that's it for today's lesson. This is Mike Caldwell, the marketing medic. Marketing on your horse. See you next time. And... And whoa, whoa.